Day two starting now. Last night was okay. I didn't go to bed right away, so there was a little bit of like anxiety trying to sleep. And it was only because I think I'm thinking so much about it. It was in the morning that that friggin' alarm clock. That thing literally is the worst thing to wake up to. It's so loud. It's so aggressive. I'm excited for today. I got yoga and meditation set up, and I'm not a type of guy that usually spends time meditating just because it's too slow for me. Today, I'm gonna be starting my rug hooking. I'll be doing the puzzle later with Karina. And I still have to figure out this phone situation because I don't have a phone yet. I gotta make calls. I've got this hockey rink rented tomorrow, and nobody knows. So I'm about to start this rug hooking. This brings back so many memories, like all the yarn. This is all yarn that I have to tie in to this, like, piece right here. That's crazy. This is gonna take me a while, but I've got nothing but time. I will be making this tiger and I will be auctioning it off. Okay, great. Boom, still got it. So that was one. Now I gotta do like 100 of each row until I'm done this tiger. So the plan this afternoon is to get out of the house a little bit. I'm gonna try some yoga and some meditation. Like, it's fun, I'm looking forward to trying it because yoga, I know is relaxing for both the body and mind and meditation, same thing, I guess. It should be a cool experience, very relaxing. Just drove past a payphone. I gotta come all the way out here to make a call. Boom, another payphone and another one. Holy shit. It's a big find. Made my day. There it is, 889, Pilates, yoga, and meditation. I'm getting nervous, <laughs> this is weird. So I'm on this one right here? Yeah, so you can take a seat right there. Do I take my socks off? You don't have to. So Dan, what brings you in today? I'm doing this digital detox. So basically, no TV, no Wi-Fi, no GPS, nothing to entertain myself. Okay. And I know a lot of people that live a similar lifestyle do yoga all the time mm -hmm. and meditation. So I thought it would be kind of fun to try that. And you're already, you know, slowing down the nervous system a little bit mm -hmm. from all the stimulation. So this is perfect. We're gonna sit up tall and relax the shoulders. This is for all those computer hands. Yeah. Texting hands. Don't need those this week. Yeah. Breathe into the back, take a few breaths. Quite flexible. <laughs> Let's focus on the breath. Are we ready to move on to some meditation? Yeah. Well, when we chant Om, we create harmony within ourselves, which brings us peace. So that's one of the reasons why we meditate. Oh. 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 So we're gonna move on to our next type of meditation. Just stay seated as you are. Start to take deeper breaths. Bring your awareness back into the room. And we're gonna bow and say namaste. Namaste. It means the light in me greets the light in you. That's awesome. Yes. So I just wrapped up yoga and meditation. It was a cool experience. I haven't done meditation before. And I think with a guy like me, that stuff is helpful because I know people that are anxiety prone, meditation is a solid thing. So I'm really glad I did it. I'm glad I took it serious. Whether the experience was there anywhere else, I just feel yoga isn't for me. At some parts, I felt a little anxious when we had time to just sit there. I don't know if that's because of the detox kicking in and I just have time to think about it or if it's just because of the actual action of doing yoga. Now I'm finally fulfilling what I've been trying to do for the past 48 hours and it's get a damn phone that works. I have to absolutely call people tonight to book this hockey. At least tell them hockey's happening. Beautiful. Oh my God, I haven't done this in forever. Karina, it's me. Come over for like 7.30, we'll do some puzzles. Okay, bye. Boom. Okay, here it is. Big button speakerphone. Big buttons for easy dialing. 
God, they're fully stocked up. I'm not really surprised. All right, I got a phone. I hope this works, because this is kind of like my last chance here. So I basically got this big ass numbered phone. It's got a loudspeaker, no digital screen, and it should work. We're gonna call Karina. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, yes. Hello. Karina, can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Oh my God, I finally got a phone. Yeah, I know. You sound like you're talking like in a glass tunnel. Yeah, you too. Are you still going to come for puzzles? Yes, of course. I'm just going to make some other phone calls in the meantime. This is great. All right. All right, I'll see you in a bit. You too. Okay, bye. I prank called my friend Sean when I was a kid, pretending to be this girl named Tracy. So I'm going to do it again. This is now probably over 10 years later. I'm going to see if I can get him again. Oh, and he just got married, so it's probably you it works. Hello, Sean. Hey, is this Sean? Yeah. Oh my God, Sean, it's Tracy. Sorry, Tracy who? Tracy, the girl that used to live on your street. Oh, okay. How's it going? I heard you just got married. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, congratulations. Who's the lucky lady? Pardon me? Who's the lucky lady? My girlfriend uh, for uh, a long time, her name's Ellie. Oh my God, Sean, Shawnee, my little Shawnee boy. You're getting so old. Yeah. Sean, what's up? It's Dan. Oh, hey. <laughs> Are you around tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, yeah. Because I rented ice tomorrow night. Yeah, what time? Uh, from 10 to 11. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, sounds Okay, good. bye. You like puzzles? Um, don't mind them. Is this the best way to go? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, this is going to be very interesting. So was it hard yesterday, not being able to get a hold of me? Yeah, extremely hard. A lot harder than we expected. Did you check your phone? Yeah, I had it a full blast all day. And I never called, eh? You never called. Oh my god, I think I've already found a match right here. Oh my goodness. Right there, look. <gasps> Congratulations. I got the first match. That was the worst high five. <laughs> uh, I got the first match. <laughs> yes. How is it going to bed without your phone? It's different. Like, if, if I don't go to bed right away, I start thinking. So like last night there was a little bit of anxiety mm -hmm. because I was just thinking. Usually at nighttime that's when I update myself. What you miss in the day and stuff like that. Which is how the world's going, you know? Life is so much more boring, honestly. It's boring, really. It is. That's what I'm, my takeaway is You're not today. finding like the little no. joys in life. What about this puzzle? You would not be doing this. <laughs> this is not like one of the best experiences you've ever had. No. <laughs> I don't know. Right now, my mind is so trained to be satisfied by like getting 10,000 views in an hour. How are you taking pictures? The Polaroid. Let's get a picture of this. Old school. Okay, so day two is over. But I think the big thing that helped me today was getting the phone set up. Even now, I feel if I need to call somebody, I can actually do it. If people need to get a hold of me, they actually can. Real life is kind of boring. I get my thrill out of creating video content, creating funny tweets, or taking good Instagram photos. This day was a total write-off. I built a puzzle. I mean, I did a, a yoga class with meditation, which was fun, it was a cool experience. I find this week so far, I haven't accomplished anything. There's even one point tonight with, when Karina was over that she was telling me about my automated tweets that were going out, and I was just like so engaged. I was like, oh, how's, this, how's it doing? How's this doing? Are people liking, is it still good? And just from that conversation, I was like feeling better that, you know, I, my brand is still operating. Tomorrow's, I've got the hockey rink rented and I'm really excited to play some hockey tomorrow. Um, anytime I play sports, my mind is occupied. I'll see you guys in the morning. See you guys later.